Hi, in this video I would like to discuss the harvest leak mechanic. How does the mechanic work? You will find entrance, entrances to the sacred grove on your maps. Once you're there you will have the option to choose between two pre-created gardens. Multiple times. After choosing one, the other one will disappear and the monsters from the one that you pick will spawn and you have to kill them to get life force. Depending on the color of the garden that you choose, the monsters will either drop wild, vivid or primal life force, which you can then use to pay for crafts on your items or sell them on the market. Example, let's take this one. This will give us wild life force. See, we got 42 wild crystallized life force. 40 crafting station in your hideout. The station works similar to a crafting bench can pay for crafts with currency, but you are not paying in regular currency. Instead, you are paying with life force. Gives you a variety of different crafts that you will not find anywhere else in the game. There are two sections that are interesting. The first one is this one. Life force drop by harvest monsters in your maps is duplicated. Harvest monsters in your maps have 100% more life and harvest in your maps contains at least one corp of blue plants. You can change that to purple or yellow, whatever you prefer. The other section that is interesting is this one. Your maps contain the secret growth. The only negative for this is that the sexton is pretty expensive, as you can see. What Atlas passives should you take? You should take Bumper, Crop. The Sacred Grove in your map has 50% chance to contain an additional harvest. The second one would be Bountiful Harvest. Harvest monsters in your maps grant 200% increased experience. Harvested plants in your maps have 10% chance to spawn an additional monster. The third one would be Heart of the Grove. Harvest crops in your maps have 60% increased chance to contain a tier 4 plant. Harvests in your maps have 10% chance for the unchosen crop to not wilt. The last one that you can take, but it's optional, depending if you are guaranteeing harvest on your map through the sections or not, is Call of the Grove. Your maps have plus 4% chance to contain the sacred growth. Another thing that I would consider is blocking out leak mechanics that you are not running. Doing this increases the chance to get other extra content by 2%. Oshabi Avatar of the Growth. This boss can only be encountered by using the Sacred Blossom in your map device. This item randomly drops from tier 4 harvest monsters. These are called Jana the Omen, Namhari Born of Night, and Erzi Mother of Thorns. The Drops look like this. Aboho Herent Interrogation, a Forbidden Shako. This item can be worth a lot if you are lucky with your rolls. Law of the Wilds, the Bitter Blossom, Witch Hunter's Judgment, the Aspirant, and Sacred Crystallized Life Force. Okay. Let me show you the fight. Okay, let's do this. Behold the first dot 
Master of Rayclast. Okay, we got Sacred, Crystallized, Life Force, and the Divination card, the Aspirant. And a Hellion's Paw. Okay, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Have a nice day. Bye.